guys, I'm So, I'm a recent graduate. Um, I graduated in 2021, a lot of you guys know of me. Um, I'm gonna be talking about what separates successful students from others. Um, and in my opinion, you, in order to be a, a successful student, you have to develop a certain amount of skills that differ from not being successful. So, my little TED talk today, we'll be talking about ways I've learned to be a good student. Okay, tops, students see top results. What I mean by that is that you don't have to be smart to see good grades. You don't have to be academically inclined. I personally have struggled so much in my school. I've, I've changed schools 13 different times because school was always hard for me, but I found ways to make it a little bit easier and create a structure that helps me get the work that I want done without having to not be good at making sure I perform the task well. So some small set of skills I uh, talked about and I encourage you guys to pay attention for a few minutes on is self-discipline, time management, organization, mindset, self-vision, and balance. Um, these um, traits I've implemented and I do implement in my everyday life and it doesn't have to relate to academics, it can relate to what you're trying to do. Sports, school, anything, that's what's gonna make a very successful career for you, in my opinion. So let's get on to how I apply those in my school life. Okay, self-discipline is the act of creating um, a mindset of being responsible and also accountable of how you manage your time. Um, it correlates to how well you are aware of what works for you and what doesn't. What keeps you focused? Does people encouragements keep you focused? Do, does music while you're working keeps you focused? Does working towards a certain goal down the road keep you focused? There's so many elements that are individual to you guys. What keeps you distracted? Does going out with friends late at night keep you from studying your homework, watching TV when you could be doing school and that's a big priority? There's things that take you away from developing a better self-discipline. And what routine works the best for you and your individual needs? Um, Everyone's view of success is different, and I know people don't think that education is how they can be successful, but personally, that's how I see it. You may want to become the best athlete out there. So whatever you're working towards, there's a way to work towards that in a way that you're balanced, you're successful at it, and you're very productive. Okay. Time management. The biggest thing that I developed last year in this class and in all my other classes was not only procrastination, but also senioritis. Um, it made my life 10 times more confusing when you're not prioritizing your specific needs first, you tend to lose track of what you're working towards and you also tend to lose motivation. So a way that I helped was I started my work as soon as I know about it and when I know I can give it the time that it needs. Um, it makes me feel more focused towards working towards that and doing it to the best of my ability. The habit that I use that helps me right now is whenever I'm doing like a paper or a project, I set a timer. I'm like, okay, I can have up to two hours to make this before I do something else. Set that timer, gets my adrenaline running, and I feel like it's a race, so I just try to get it done and it grinds me to just do the best. How to prevent procrastination is to space out your studying and try not to wait till the last minute. Um, I understand that sometimes we procrastinate to the last minute and have to learn a whole unit or learn what we had missed for a week. It's harder for anybody to not only find the motivation to get that done, but also understand it. If you space out your studying a chapter at a time or whatever your schedule is, you find that you're more motivated to do that than sitting down for four hours and trying to get everything done. So, time management. Next. Organization. There are so many ways to be organized when it comes to doing well in your academic life. A clear space means a clear mind. If the workspace around you is messy, I feel like you feel uneasy. I put that for me personally, that I don't like. When my roommates are messy, I'm like, clean that up, it's giving me anxiety. And that correlates to how your brain feels when you're doing something, that's important. Um, what I do to be more organized, not only do I have my entire space very clean, but I also have an academic calendar which is like a planner, or you could use notes. That helps prepare me for what I have going on. So if I, for example, right now, I already know what's going on two weeks from now, because I had written that down, and I make sure that I won't lose track of that's a missing assignment. Helps you save my 
Okay, mindset and vision. Um, a lot of us struggle with why are we, why are we here, high school is not gonna be worth it, stuff like that. Um, everything that we do in school, I feel like character-wise is important. Um, you have to see yourself before you get there. If you wanna become a great football player and you're in practice, you obviously wanna be like, okay, I can see myself in 10 years being the athlete that I wanna see. So I have this quote that now I'm sharing with you guys. It's called grind time, prime time. And it's what I call when I just throw my phone, put my phone on do not disturb and I get in the zone. That's my mindset that the grind work lifestyle doesn't ever stop. However, since it is, life has a lot of challenges and keeps me from grinding. I need to make sure that I have that commitment. If I'm stressed out for a week, how can I better take care of myself so that I can still get an A on that assignment? Okay. <laughs> Balance. This is so important, especially in the senior year when you have more priorities, I would say. Um, a lot of us develop a burnout. We get exhausted. Why? Because school can be a lot um, and our mental health isn't and could be better. Um, a way to help that is to great balance in your personal life. Um, exercising, spending time with friends, doing things that aren't school so that you can have an equal balance of prioritizing not only your mental health, but your emotional health and your academic life. When you feel overwhelmed, you're gonna notice that you feel unmotivated. When you're dealing with the burnout, it can last a very long time and you aren't productive, you don't have the energy to do that. And there's ways to break that. Um, anything that's a burnout is negative at, uh, energy, just not, believing that it's worth it, hopelessness, irritability, that affects how well you perform. If you have that mindset, oh, it's not worth doing, how are you gonna get things done? So that's what I talked about. Balance is that you can make your academic life a lot easier if you split your time doing enjoyable things and you're not always working. Okay, lessons I learned in this class, I took this class last year. Um, this was one of the most life-changing classes I've had on a personable level. When you do better and you pay attention, you feel better. When you work hard for something that you work hard for and you see the results, it's a fulfilling prophecy. For example, if my, if my parents gave me money to do something, but I went out and got a job and got that paycheck and earned that money, now I can spend it on whatever I want, plus I have a feeling that I worked so hard to get that money, it's better than having people enable me, and it's also better because it makes my mindset feel like I can do this, there's potential in me to grow, and when you put your best foot forward, you're gonna feel more confident if anything you do. Okay, quality work. Um, teachers can tell when you don't give your assignments the time it needs. They can tell when you don't put in that detail, they can tell when you don't read chapters of books. They don't even need to tell you that. They can just tell based on your assignment and your way that you carry yourself as well. Quality work. Um, when you give assignments, the work and attention that you knew you can to your best of ability, you have less doubts of this is going to be a C assignment, this is going to be an A assignment. Now you're for sure in that mindset, I did the best I could, there's no way I can get an A on it. Um, teachers, okay, so also about quality work is that when you drive yourself to complete tasks, you often feel like, what is this purpose in doing so? But reading the instructions and the assignments and the purpose of what you're doing can relate to how well you present your content. A lot of that is normally shown in like writing. Um, when you read books, when you do a spark notes instead of reading the chapters, you, you get lost in some information. And when you have the time and give yourself the effort to go full out, you're going to see better results. Not only that, you're gonna feel better probably like, why would I wear myself out doing quality work all the time? You don't have to. I just said that it's a good mindset to have in order to accomplish things you want to accomplish, but also there comes the balance aspect. So I'm not saying you need to work, work so hard and you'll be exhausted. You can just sit down and give like an essay, an hour of your time instead of spark noting it, and you're going to see a difference in how you feel about books. Okay, almost done. So that's my Instagram, my Snapchat, personal. DM me, Snapchat me, I will answer. I'm here for anything. I'm coming to school every week at this point. 
So feel free to reach out um, academically or emotionally and mentally. I'm here to help, and since I am, I do run the Alumni Connection, I'm here to, no one else is adding in, in, like their involvement in it. So as of right now, I'm the only one that's here doing this work, but I'm happy to help you guys, and that's why I am doing the work I do, because I'm giving back to the community and sharing you guys things from a personable person who went and experienced all that. I learned from my lessons, and it taught me so much about myself. So, know that I'm here to help. That's it, thank you guys.